So I felt I needed to create for myself um, a space of peace where I can just go and relax with the bees. So I built myself one of these big uh, horizontal hives uh, that you can actually sleep inside with the bees. Let me show you. Hold on. Did he just say sleep inside with the bees? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Leo uh, with HorizontalHive.com which is a great resource on natural beekeeping and there are also horizontal hives that don't break your back. Uh, I'm also editor of two great books. So one is called Keeping Bees with a Smile. This is uh, giving you all the background information and detail on how to get started with natural beekeeping. No chemicals to put in the hives, no medications, and as long as you catch swarms that are locally adapted, you'll be really enjoying a very healthful um, beekeeping uh, without the expense or the chemicals that usually come with conventional beekeeping practices. And another book I translated from French for you is Keeping Bees in Horizontal Hives that present all of this tradition of keeping bees the simple way in a way that doesn't disturb them but also brings a big reward to the beekeeper at the same time. And you know everything I do in beekeeping is about their sustainability getting local bees, giving them a good home and protecting the world they live in. All of the profits from HorizontalHive.com, from my honey sales, are, uh, we put into acquiring acreage here in the Ozarks. So gradually we grew it from 80 acres to 1000 acres and created a private honeybee sanctuary, saving big trees from destruction and logging. And creating a space where bees and other form of life are, can uh, thrive despite the tremendous amount of deforestation that's happening all around. So, bees are not just about honey. We call them honey bees and of course that seduces us and attracts us with this amazing food that's not just tasty but if produced without chemicals or in a pristine remote wilderness location that's also a very healthful product but there is much more to bees than that. From the very ancient time, bees were used for healing. And uh, I wanted to show you a few things that go into this realm of epitherapy, they, they call it. Creating healing experiences through the bees. So, this is my bee bed, or as we call it, our B and B. Um, and this is a real horizontal beehive, but it has a shed built on top of it that you can crawl in and have a relaxing experience with the honeybees. So uh, let me explain how it works and if you would like to create something like that in your backyard, there are free plans for building exactly this model on HorizontalHive.com. I didn't invent this thing. This is a popular trend in Eastern Europe, Russia. Um, beekeepers know that uh, being in the bee yard is extremely relaxing experience. Even like when you open the beehive and all of the smell of the flowers is uh, surrounding you. Just inhaling this air is a great reward, maybe even sweeter than honey. So someone had an idea of creating this enclosure on top of a few hives so that all of this air that the bees are driving from the nectar they brought from the flowers is not just escaping and get diffused, but is concentrated here so that you can literally bathe yourself in the smell of the flowers. And this is where it comes from. So this is a real bee bed. It's the twin size. I measured the preferred size of beds in this country. And this is the twin size bee bed. So you can actually sleep there. I used as many recycled or reclaimed or locally harvested materials as I can. So this very nice looking window and I have the creek running right there for me to enjoy watching when I'm relaxing here at the bees. This is actually a French door that I picked up on Craigslist for $25. All of the cedar was being actually deemed to be turned into cedar mulch for bedding for pets. And I got a load of the cedar boards that were going to be ground up for mulch and salvage them and then I recut them in my shop and created all of this nice siding. But let me tell you about the bee bed itself. So, this is a real horizontal hive and the bees will be living here. 
They live here and there are special entrances. There are four colonies separated by dividers and they will be living here and doing their thing. Flying off to the flowers, collecting pollen and nectar and bringing it in. But then once they're in, this is where all the alchemy happens. The transformation of this nectar into honey and they raise their brood in there. So this is a fully functional beehive. But it has the layer of these coverboards that create uh, a surface that you can actually lie down on and soak up the bee vibration. This is my number three bee bed, so I already experienced it there uh, before. This one is still waiting for the first swarm of the um, season to put into the bee bed. Uh, but I know how exactly it will feel here two months from now once uh, it's all buzzing with the bees. So you lie down and under you there are four very strong and populated beehives. You may not be aware that bees generate a lot of heat. It's like four thermal elements being switched on. So with the doors of this bee bed closed, there is so much heat coming from the bees that you actually break a sweat like in a sauna. But it's not the exhausting heat when the temperatures are around 200 degrees. This will be cooler enough to break a sweat, but really, really gentle sauna experience. Very cleansing and soothing and calming. In addition to that, I mentioned all of this uh, smell from the beehive and the flowers. There are special passages that the bees have to go through in order to come and go. So when they start evaporating nectar to turn it into honey, the air that they drive out of this box goes through these tunnels that have screened openings here. So from all of these openings there will be a wave of floral scent filling this cavity. Um, and of course at the same time you will hear all of the buzzing of the bees just uh, three quarters of an inch from you. But they're not going to sting you because you are in a chamber that's completely separated from them with this layer of planks. There is a form actually of bee enjoyment that's called the bee sting therapy and it's helping many people with their arthritis, muscle pain, even chronic Lyme disease. But here you can choose whether you want to get any stings or not. If you're adventurous and if you wanted to receive a few stings at the same time as you're relaxing here, you just, you know, pull up one of the boards, release a few bees here. Uh, irritate them enough that they sting you and you have bee sting therapy here at the same time. But uh, no, normally you just stay there and you relax. So we have the heat, so it's like a sauna. We have all of the smell of the beehive, so it's aromatherapy at the same time. Then we have the buzzing of the bees and like the sound of the creek in the background, it's soothing and relaxing, so it's lulling you to sleep. Finally, the bees evaporate nectar into honey by fanning their wings. So imagine there is 100,000 bees under you, within a few inches of you. They're all there doing this. There is actually uh, so much vibration coming from these hives that uh, you will feel the thing a little bit shaking. So when you lie down with your spine against this vibration, it gives you a gentle massage at the same time as you are bathing in the smell and they're all of the sounds of the beehives. Um, this is being used for therapy as much as relaxation, but I think that very good relaxation is part of therapy because so much nah, illness today comes from stress and uh, um, depression and nervous breakdowns and just the pace of life is uh, so fast we have no moment to stop and relax. So uh, with their Something like that, you have a space where there are no distractions. You come there and instead of your head being filled with your worries, it really purifies your mind as much as the, it does uh, your body. And I think this alone is extremely healing. Because what else do we need in this world, you know, full of distraction and fast pace, as a space to slow down and listen to the sounds of nature and merge with something that's bigger than ourselves. But I never attach any medicinal claims to what I do with the bees, but many people who try that, they just send me their testimonials. I had three plans for building a beehive uh, and a bee bed like that on my 
horizontalhive.com website for years and many people are writing to me saying that this air coming from the bees, for example, is helping them with lung problems. I had an email from a COVID survivor in the last two years. He had a really bad case of COVID and uh, it's tremendously helped his recovery to be out there smelling the uh, hive smell. He even made a special tube with a screen that goes uh, into the hive and the mask like the oxygen mask to specifically be inhaling this floral uh, smell of the hive saturated with moisture and it helped his lungs recover. Um, on the Eastern European website so many people report anything connected with nervous system like depression or insomnia or headaches. Even people who came to my uh, apiary and spent a few hours in the bee bed also reported similar improvements like the migraines and headaches will go away because you give your nervous system a chance to recover and uh, uh, restore all of the psychic energy. Uh, so, in addition to that, uh, muscles and muscle pain and joint pain, much of it comes from us being so tense because when our mind is preoccupied with problems, if you listen to your body, we have some tension in all of the muscles all the time and all of the tension builds up and eventually can result in pain back, neck pain, uh, or whatever. So lying down here, you are being warmed, you are being massaged, you are being caressed like a baby in the womb of mother. So it's giving you a chance to completely let go and relax and through this relaxation probably even release the tension in some of the muscles that have been giving you chronic pain. A few words about uh, how to set it up so you can get the best enjoyment out of your B and B or B bed. Again, the plans are on horizontalhive.com. This is already number three B bed that I've built. Uh, the first one I gave to the friend in St. Louis during the lockdown, his Airbnb business was shut down. So he set this up in his backyard to attract their people. And you know, even in Eastern Europe too, there are Airbnb properties, uh, some of them mounted in RVs, so you can take your RV to a place uh, where there are a lot of tourists and sell tickets for them to go in and relax with the bees. Um, and this is my third bee bed, so I made improvements, big improvements uh, related to the uh, c compared to the first models that I first built. Big improvement I made in this model is I introduced the air circulation system. So the entrance to the beehive is here. This is where the bees will be coming and going, but they're not going outside. They're going through a tunnel first. So there is a tunnel in here, all with openings and screen underneath. So they come and then this is their landing board. So to get into the beehive, they get here, go through this tunnel, and when they fan their wings here, driving moisture out of the hive and evaporating honey, all of that air will be channeled through this tunnel. And with so many openings and screens, there will be actually a wave of this floral fragrance rising all around you. Another improvement I made is these doors. So they don't flap in the wind when it's open and when you are uh, working with the hive, there is a clip there so that it stays open. And very importantly, the first bee bed was just on cinder blocks, the second one had legs, but I realized it is extremely important to have all of the legs made out of metal. I just salvaged an aluminum post and I created these legs and this is submerged in water. This is also reclaimed material. This is an old discarded uh, propane tank that I cut in half so I put there for all four legs, four propane tanks cut in half with steel legs and with water to prevent ants and cockroaches going up the leg and making a nest inside the bee bed. It was very irritating in my previous bee bed to be lying down and relaxing there and then cockroaches start running over you or ants start biting you, ruining your relaxing experience. This is not going to happen unless we come across a species of ants that can swim, which I hope is not the case here in the audience. So the same here, 
reclaimed materials, barn tin. I took down a barn that the neighbor was going to burn, so I salvaged the roofing material at no cost. Uh, reclaimed material, reclaimed material, reclaimed material, and uh, in the summertime, I'm inviting Doug to come over and actually to have this bee bad experience for himself once it's all filled with buzzing bees and to report it on his YouTube channel. And trust me, I am totally looking forward to this. <laughs> when he showed me this, I was like, what? I've never seen anything like it. So now I totally want to experience it. You know, I'll probably even bring Stacy down here. So guys, look forward to a video uh, as we move forward with this project of us all down here in the box with live bees leave a comment down below if you would do that <laughs> yeah yeah see even winnie the pooh was saying that there are things in life that are sweeter than honey so i guess that if you ever experience spending an hour in a box like that uh, then you will agree with Pooh, and this is probably that thing that he was referring to. <laughs> really something. So maybe you guys do some homework on this and uh, fish around the internet and check out some stories and stuff. But we'll be updating you guys on this in the summertime, probably this year. Uh, he's going to catch some swarms, load it up, and then take a couple dry runs. And then we'll, <laughs> we'll come down, and then we're actually going to come and check it all out and show you guys how it is totally 100 percent live so yeah i look forward to it and there again plans for building this thing are yep. also on horizontalhive.com so you can create one like that for yourself and your friends and relatives and neighbors and everyone else to enjoy and to discover that bees are more than honey and maybe after soaking their vibration and looking at the world through their eyes we will be more relaxed have a smile and realize that you know there is so much value in the world around us that we are destroying through our actions yeah. that the bees in order to thrive are showing us we need to preserve the beauty of this blossoming landscape and there it pays back at the yeah. same time it's good stuff so we really look forward to doing that leave a comment down below smash the thumbs up on the way out let me know if you guys have ever seen anything like that a beehive you can sleep in and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video see ya. oh and don't forget to check out horizontalhive.com classes to come to new learning center going up all this education and heck he might even airbnb you this little box here for a second <laughs> <laughs> see ya <laughs>